Dear all, welcome back to a new series of how I built this new scale model helicopter. This is a replica of the SA341 Delta or Foxtrot of the Gazelle light attack helicopter. The kit I'll be working on is made by Fujimi and it's on a 148th scale. Considering that it was made in 1988, the level of details it revealed was pretty satisfying. The flight instrument board in the cockpit is in 3D and I am happy to test some painting technique on it. Although it is ready to be assembled and painted as it is, I personally wanted to improve it and convert it to a 342 Lima Gazelle model. The helicopter that I will be shrinking today is the LLF Lima 801 Gazelle. The first upgrade that I'm adding to this kit is the self-built oil cooler compartment. I researched some detailed pictures online and found these amazing shots showing exactly how it looks like closely. This is the first fit test of the fuselage and I'm very impressed in how precise it is. I know that it looks odd, but I have to do this crazy step. Using a Dremel on low RPM and a craving drill bit, I created the first part of the opening. A sharp cutter is handy for getting rid of the sticking plastic parts. And finally, I used a rounded file to smoothen the edges. I temporarily assembled the heli to check for the space available to fit my self-made oil cooler compartment. To avoid making this video an hour long, I'm showing you the results of the upgrade parts I built, using plastic rods, scrap materials from the sprues of the kit, and some lead wires. I painted the interior of the compartment with Tamiya Desert Yellow. I found that painting the whole object with the dominant color using the airbrush and then painting it with a fine brush is more effective than painting it part by part.
It's so rewarding when you start revealing those details while painting them layer by layer. I wanted to give a cinematic effect to the whole assembly by adding various tonalities to the wiring and I must admit that it gave a more realistic look to it. Using a fine brush with chrome paint on it, I am enhancing the effect of worn parts and giving a certain depth feel. Also, on a clear background, by adding oil grime, it gives it a good contrast. I was thinking of a way to replicate the filter mesh of the cooler, and I accidentally spotted my old earplugs that had a very similar look. So I quickly took them apart and recovered those meshes. I painted them using AK Interactive Extreme Metal Brass Color, which I found to be one of the best brands of metal colors for modeling so far. I must admit that the result was very, very satisfying. To make the interior more appealing, I recycled some of my old kit decals and applied them properly to some parts. And here's the result. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the new series and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and consider becoming my Patreon. It will definitely give you the professional help to improve your skills and will help this channel to stay alive. Check the link in the info below. Thank you, see you next time.